Welcome back. Joining us now is Emmy award-winning actor Kelsey Grammer. Yeah, welcome. And, and fans obviously know you as, yeah. as Dr. Fraser Crane, but this weekend they're going to see you in, in a role that they may not be familiar with, and that's it's Dr. Pangloss yes. uh, with the Wichita Grand Opera's performance of Candide. Mm -hmm. So what can you tell us uh, about this particular show and the role that you play in it? Uh, well, uh, Candide is, is basically the, uh, the um, narrator of the, of the piece. Uh, it's a, it's a beautiful piece of music. I mean, Bernstein's Candide is it's breathtaking. Honestly, I, I keep forgetting. I had done this once before about seven years ago, and uh, I, it seemed like it needed another you know crack at it. I needed another crack at it. Uh, it's a magnificent piece of music, and I, th I think uh, under the capable hands of Whitney Reeder, the, the conductor and uh, the guy who runs the, the opera here, uh, it's I think it's really going to surprise people. I mean, that's the number of voices. The sound is magnificent. The symphony sounds fantastic, the orchestra. And uh, I'm just here to sort of bring some attention to the opera in, in Kansas, I mean, in, in Kansas yeah. and uh, Wichita. And uh, Wichita Falls, I've been in Wichita Falls now. That's not here. No. No. That's no. It is not. Texas. Some other place. We are, uh, we're far yeah. better than oh, Well, I, I, you know what? You can't help thinking that. Because I've seen that, you know, the, the yeah. Guardian of the Plains guy, whatever. I think he's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And you had mentioned um, you wanted to give another crack at the role. Why? Well, it's challenging. Um, I've, I'm sort of I'm sort of opera adjacent in my life. I mean, I was a singer when I was a young man. I was when I was 14. Actually, I started singing, and uh, my voice teacher wanted me to go into opera. And I thought, oh, you know, it's, <laughs> that's a really tough one. I thought I'm going to have some luck as an actor. Maybe I think being an opera singer is really pushing it because it's a rarefied air up there. Anybody who's a great opera singer has. Uh, a, a very limited window for a great career. I mean, mm -hmm. there's like Placido de Domingo and then drop your voice. I mean, who knows? Mm -hmm. But uh, I, uh, I'm drawn to it. I love the opera. I love the spectacle of it. I love this particular piece of music. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just figure why not keep my toe in the water. Well, you say you want to take another crack at it, but you know, you've done, you've done movies, you've done mm -hmm. television shows. I would think that there's a, a different maybe process to prepare for something like that, like this, than there is for with television and movies. Yeah, this is harder. Okay. Mm. This is uh, yeah. this is this is harder on your voice. It's uh, you got to be in shape. I mean, and I'm I'm in reasonably good shape. I yeah. just but the vocal um, gymnastics of it, the requirement there, it's a little high in my range. Okay. So I'm up there floating around on the top of my range a lot, and uh, that's been knocking me out a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, used to describe this performance, this show, um, laughter, hope. What do you want audience members to take away from this? Well, you know what? It's it's just that thing. Why do we do the arts? Why do we do, we do it? It's to it's to blithe man's experience. It's mm. to enhance our lives. It's to lift us up. I mean, I asked myself this morning. I was sitting there, kind of having a quiet meditation. I thought, Why are you here? Mm. It's to make people's lives better. It's just to just to lift them up, to encourage them, to make them laugh, to make them cry. I mean, the music is so beautiful, and whether or not you necessarily relate to it, it's the human experience in there. It's transcendent. I mean, there are moments when, I mean, just tears just yeah. running down your face. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Mm. Well, let's talk about your experience in Wichita, because this is okay. your first time <laughs> yes. in, in our city, and, and you've been here for a few days, and I've seen a lot of the photos circulating on social media. Mm -hmm. I know you're taking a lot of pictures with, mm -hmm. with, with fans that are maybe some of them a little surprised. They, you know, <laughs> Kelsey Grammer is here. Oh, hey, yes, yes, you. Like, are you Kelsey Grammer? Yes, I am. <laughs> So okay, how, what so, are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> so how is how's your experience been so far in, in your first time? Yeah, people are really yeah. delightful and very friendly. And I had uh, I had some ribs that bite me today. Mm, okay, which was uh, pretty pretty terrific. Met the chef there, Julian, who was uh, a magnificent man, um, just a, a large, beautiful man with a magnificent baritone voice himself. And I thought, well, you know, maybe he should just be singing. Oh. Yeah, but uh, he's cooking. And he's, he's doing a great job. And so we enjoyed that. And I had a steak the other night over at, uh, what was it, uh, Chester's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I always remember this, hey, wait a minute, Chester. But then I, <laughs> I remember things. And um, and I'm staying at the Ambassador Hotel. Mm -hmm. The people have been lovely there. It's uh, i got a nice view. I'm in the rock star suite. I have no idea what that means. Well, but it calls up images of Kelsey Grammer. They're going to read the image. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I see no evidence of insanity there. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> well, we're super excited that you yeah. are here. And is there anything else about the show? I know we're going to give the dates here in a second. Um, but anything else you want people to know before they head out there? 
Well, um, or even I will say, um, I was surprised Bernstein, um, or Bernstein rather, is also behind West Side Story, and I didn't know um, that he's also behind this performance, and so I thought that. Uh, oh yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's his masterpiece. It's it's mm -hmm. Bernstein's major thing. I used to go to see him when I was a kid too. Oh. Uh, I would go to the New York Philharmonic and watch his children's concerts. I, he was an, an amazing man, oh. and passionate. And, so gifted, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's all, it's all, you can kind of hear Aaron Copeland all wrapped up with all kinds of other stuff as well. I mean, he has such an experience with it. I saw Copeland speak once at Juilliard when I was a student there oh. before they threw me out, not to <laughs> wave the name around too much. Uh, but Copeland said that Bernstein got stuff out of his music he didn't know was there. Mm. And I thought that was, what a testament to this man's talent mm -hmm. to understand how, how to extract from his own human experience and his understanding of music, to pull something out of a piece of music that even the composer didn't know was in it. This mm. guy is something else, I mean, and and it's all reflected in this music. In in Candide, it's a uh, it's a spectacle of of talent, mm. and uh, it's a it's a wonderful thing to be there. Yeah. And why should people see it? Because a great community always has great art. Mm. That's right. All right. I, well, I would say you do m meaningful. Uh, work a lot of the things that you do and so I, I can only assume that this is going to mm -hmm. be fantastic and, and I know a lot of folks in our community can't wait to see you mm -hmm. uh, I, I certainly hope so yeah. I think it'll be definitely rewarding um, and you can see the show for yourself mm -hmm. it's Saturday and Sunday at Century 2. And that unfortunately is all the time we have with you for today but thank you so much for coming out here Bless you. and again we'll have those uh, details online at KSN.com we'll be right back.